Oh, uh, this one's about uh, customizing uh, your Windows desktop, uh, be it Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Um, a little program that you can download off several sites. I'll go to uh, one I use often is MajorGeeks.com. And it's called WinBubble. So you just do a search, W-I-N-B-U-B-B-L-E. Wind bubble, and there it is. There, and the website Lawrence Albert is uh, unlocked for us. It's a blog, and it offers other tips and stuff for Windows, etc. So we'll just download this. It's, uh, it's very small. Okay, it's been downloaded. So let's close this out. Let's go to downloads and you can see this comes a zip file. I haven't installed any archive programs, just the built in Windows zip. So I'll just drag this over to the desktop. I'll close this out and be open. You notice here it has an installer, on an installer, and it has a, uh, an extra WinBubbles which you can use as without installing so just standalone but um, I like to install it so let's install next accept the license next uh, no desktop shortcut install and it's done and it opens up the unlock for us again okay close that close that we'll just delete that Okay, now on the start menu, you'll find uh, WinBubble, and it's called WinBubbles to launch the program. So what do I use this for? Well, say do uh, documents. If I drag it, I just pick it up and drag it over, and it says create link or a shortcut. Um, you can remove the, the, you can rename it to just say documents or whatever you want. It's only a shortcut, but what I don't like um, is the arrow key. I don't like the shortcut arrow. Some people like them. I, I just, they just bug me. <laughs> so to do, to get rid of that, I just open up WinBubbles. It'll ask you for another prompt and give it a second to start up. And then there'll be a couple of more. Yes, agree. And if you want to go to the web, website again, you can read new information. But I'm not going to do that now. Okay, uh, some of these things I've already done with uh, registry edits, so that's why they're checked. But you see down here at the bottom, it says remove shortcut arrow. You just tick that, then it turns yellow and it says apply. But we're not going to click apply yet because there's a couple other things. If you want to change, let's say if you had a home built computer or whatever, or you want to change a few things, you can say manufacturers, like, you know, anything you want, mid finger, model. Uh, virtual box website is HTTPs and I'll just leave it at yeah www.virtualbox.org support hours I don't know owner whoever add logo this is kind of neat it'll actually go through your uh, user um, whatever they're called user account icons or so we can pick anything from here. Let's pick the where's that robot? There it is. And select. So now we're done. Um I wouldn't mess around with too much of the optimized stuff. You can if you want, but it's just for the interface. And yeah, that's good. So now you select apply. It's gonna do its thing. It's gonna say to log off or reboot. You know, reboot or log off, so select OK, close this, and we'll see what happens. Remember this shortcut arrow here. Uh, log off. See what happens. And just type in your password, whatever. Silly passwords. And boom, gone, no arrow. I find that handy. I don't know. Maintenance, I like to keep a few things in a separate folder and if you notice these are shortcuts but they don't have any arrows 
And the other thing I mentioned was the uh, OEM branding type of thing. You can either uh, get to that by holding the Win key and pressing pause, and or right-click computer properties. So there you go. Um, system rating not available on a virtual box. There's the picture. Online support, if we got that right, it should, yep. Let's go into virtual box. Again, you can type anything. And manufacturers got uh, my handle. So now if you wanted to reverse those changes, just go back to WinBubble, accept the prompt. Delete these in here. Put in, that will uh, clear that. Uncheck remove shortcut arrow. And then select apply and log out or reboot and you're done. But uh, I like to keep it like this. So anything I... Oops, sorry. I use a desktop shortcut. Uh, oh, where are we here? Accessories. Command prompt. Notepad. Shortcut here. There. Notepad. No arrow. I'll just delete that out. So that's it. Just uh, plain and simple. Wind bubble. Or wind bubbles. You can get it from Major Geeks or probably file hippo or any other sites or from their the own website uh unlock for us dot org and uh yeah that's uh about all on that okay so uh any comments suggestions just feel free to add them and uh thank you so much for watching and have a good one and uh bye for now and take care <laughs>